Hello and welcome back to my newest SQL Server Quickie. Last month I have started talking about logical joins and I covered the cross join. Today I want to continue this discussion by talking about the inner join in SQL Server. The inner join is one of the most important join types in a relational database because normally you will perform inner join between tables. First, let's switch over to the flip chart where I want to discuss the semantics of the inner join to you in more detail. I want to show you now how an inner join works in SQL Server. Imagine we perform an inner join between two tables, a table A and a table B. From a logical perspective, SQL Server performs in the first step again a cross join. So we build a Cartesian product, the same thing as we have seen it previous month. We are just crossing every record with every record, but only on the logical level. On the physical level, within the execution plan, SQL Server is doing the inner join in different, more efficient ways. That's the first phase we perform just the Cartesian product. And in the second phase, we just evaluate our join condition. So imagine we perform a join on both tables and we say a.id equals b.id and those values are our id values. In that case, we are evaluating that join predicate and SQL Server just returns to those rows where the id values are just the same. So the first one, 1, 1, and here the second one with the values 2 and 2. In addition, it is also very important to say that the ordering of the tables in an inner join doesn't really matter. As you can see here, when you perform an inner join between the table A and the table B, or an inner join between table B and A, it doesn't reflect the result set. It's always the same. As you will see now in our demonstration, the query optimizer just rearranges your tables in the inner join and tries to find the smallest table and uses that table as the outer table of the physical join operator. Let's switch now over to SQL Server Management Studio where I want to demonstrate this behavior to you. The following query performs a simple inner join between the tables sales.salesorderheader and sales.salesorderdetail. It will return all the associated sales order detail records for every order that is stored in the, same, in the table sales.salesorderheader. When you execute this query and when you look at the execution plan, you can see that the query optimizer has chosen a merge join as the physical join operator because both tables are ordered on the column sales order ID through the clustered index. Therefore, SQL Server can perform the efficient merge join without pre-sorting the data within the execution plan. In addition, SQL Server has also chosen the table sales order header as the outer table of the inner join because you have here fewer records than in the table sales order detail. As I have mentioned on the flip chart, the ordering of the tables in an inner join doesn't really matter because an inner join between table A and table B is the same as an inner join between table B and table A. The query optimizer will just rearrange the tables with the goal of using the smaller table as the outer table for the physical join operator. The following query demonstrates this concept. Here I swap the tables and perform an inner join between the tables sales.salesorderdetail and sales.salesorderheader. The swapping of the tables doesn't really matter because the query optimizer has again rearranged the tables and performs the inner join between sales.salesorderheader and sales.salesorderdetail. Intelligent, isn't it? Another important fact about the inner join is that the join only returns those rows where the join condition has evaluated to true. 
The database discards all the rows where the join condition has evaluated to false and unknown. Unknown are the null values in the context of SQL Server. The following query demonstrates again this concept. Here I have a query where the column currency rate ID contains a lot of null values. None of these rows are returned by the query itself. As a result, we get back only 13,976 13, rows where rows in the join condition have evaluated to true. The inner join is the most commonly used logical join operator in a relational database. At the physical level, SQL Server can use a nested loop, a merge join, or a hash join to implement the inner join within the execution plan. As you have also seen in the demonstration, the ordering of the tables in an inner join doesn't matter. An inner join between tables A and B is the same as an inner join between the tables B and A. The query optimizer will arrange the tables during the query optimization accordingly. I hope that you have enjoyed this SQL Server Quickie and I'm already looking forward to welcoming you again next month when I will talk about outer joins. Thanks for watching and see you soon.